Welcome to Jason vs. the Moon. Uh, in this video, <coughs> we're going to take a look at um, what I caught um, on August 10th. I think it was you know, between 11 and 11.30 a.m. Um, I, did I did not have a clue what this was. This was, I think, the first time I had pulled my telescope out in the daytime to look at an object. You could see it with your naked eye, uh, yet I was able to zoom in like all the way with my telescope, which was weird. Now, what I'm going to show you here is, as you can see, right here and at the very bottom, there's something attached, and then there's also this darker spot. So pay attention to that where there's uh, where, when it's in the frame. I do zoom in primarily onto the <clears throat> the weather balloon. Um, the reason that I believe it to be a weather balloon is not only is there something attached and, and hanging down here. But also, I did Google uh, some images of, of different types of weather balloons and do, did, did find that some uh, many of the images matched uh, this. And it, you know, it makes more sense. I mean, I never claimed it to be a UFO. I just didn't know what it was, um, which I guess technically would mean it was a UFO. But, but, uh, but it was just floating around up there. And I know there may be times that I say it's not moving. Maybe I don't say that in this clip. But, uh, but if I do... Um, that's probably when I'm looking up with my naked eye because when you're looking on a telescope and you have to keep adjusting, you know, obviously the object's in movement of some type, but whenever I'm looking with my naked eye, it just seemed like it was pretty much between these two trees that it stayed there for like, I don't know, like 40 minutes or something. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, um, so, you know, anything you hear in here about me not knowing what it is, I don't think I do a lot of speculation, but now we know it's 99.9%, it's .9%, if not 1,000%, uh, a weather balloon. But like I said, you know, just check it out. And, uh, and this was something I just never expected to see. It's, I just walked out, I looked up, and, and just saw. And now, you know, ever since I've seen stuff like this, is that's what I do. I, I go outside, daytime, nighttime, whatever, and I don't just go out there and pull out my phone <clears throat> and look down, you know, sometimes I do that. But I go out and I look up first because there's so many things that you'll just see that, you, you know, you, you just got to just got to look for them. And that's the explanation of this video. Had I, had I not gone out and looked up, I would have never seen this. So it was a great catch. It was perfect timing. Um, and it was a good idea for me to pull out the scope and, 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 uh, and get this footage. So uh, check it out and we will... Um, yeah, we'll we'll see what you think about it. Let me know your thoughts, and thanks for watching. Okay, August tenth, twenty nineteen, eleven ten. Object in the sky. I don't know what it is. Let's see if I can focus it. So. I mean, just strange, dude. So strange. It's obviously not like a balloon or anything because it would have been gone. Right. So. Just this weird orb in the sky, man. Is my coffee out here? Thanks, dude. Oh, wow, it's a whole cup. Holy shit. The trip, man. God, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm blown away, man. It's so crazy. It's like it's stuck in the same spot, but I'm having I'm having to sit here and continuously. So it has moved a little bit because whenever we first set up, it was like over here, and it's gone that way. 
right now. Yeah. Wow. This is amazing, dude. I just can't. It's it's unbelievable because it's like, what the fuck is it? Why is it just up there? I mean, it was so noticeable. Facing south. Probably should have said that a long time ago. <laughs> That's unbelievable, man. some clouds. Oh, what the fuck? Damn it. All right. Oh, this is blowing my mind, man. Just sitting up there, what the fuck? Unbelievable. The only thing that's upsetting to me is I just don't know how to explain what it is. I don't, I mean, there's, we know it's not a satellite. We know it's not a star. Well, I shouldn't say that. I can't, I can't prove that. Um, it's not a balloon. That's just sitting there, dude. I mean, I just looked up, dude. I just looked up, and boom. Something's sitting there that just looked like, like, that's not a cloud, man. I've never seen a little piece of cloud like that. And then, sure enough, pull the telescope out, and this is what it is, man. Facing the south, the sun is still in the east. Just, just mind blowing, dude. Mind blowing. Because 
you know, you just, I don't know, I just walk out and this thing is sitting here. Now this is a general direction I would film Jupiter. Not general, this is the direction I would film Jupiter. Uh, Saturn would be to the southeast. Um, you know, uh, a lot of the, the stars and things that I look at, and of course the moon's in this direction in the evenings. But, but this is the daytime, dude, not even noon. And there's just this fucking thing, man. And there's no way if the clouds are affecting it and they're going over it. I don't know, man. Like, it just doesn't look that far. So I'm waiting to see if I can get some clouds going behind, behind it. That would be that would be proof that it's very, 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 very close. God. I just don't know what it is, man. Try to focus some. can tell you what's happening right now, so I'm hitting some, hitting some trees, no matter what I do, I can't get away from these damn trees, but this is just unbelievable.